All right, folks. So um, I started setting up my bandsaw for the uh, the angle cut on the kerf, and I don't even know if you can tell. Uh, I guess you can see it's on a it's on a slope. Um, about 23 degrees is what I think it worked out to. It's been a day or something since I set that up. The um, then I realized I, I didn't have a feather stick, and uh, I want to make a feather stick, and I don't want to make it on my table saw. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, you know, take the setup. I, the setup is just right, which is kind of aggravating. But anyway, I'm just going to straighten the table out, set it up, make a feather board, um, and then um, set it back up and run, run the little bevel on the kerf. All right, so this is a test run. I've got the, uh, the feather board on. Uh, I've set it up to where you, if you look at the little spindles here as I push in, maybe, here we go, if you look at the little spindles there, you can see that as I push in, they move just a little bit. And yeah, maybe you can't see them on the camera. But they are moving a little bit. And I have this leading pointer just a, a little tighter. And so that's what I'm going to do now. The other idea is that this is safer because I don't have to get my hand this close. So I can just push this, this strip in from over here. Uh, back up a little bit now because I'm um, in my own way. Push the strip in from over here and once it gets to a point here I can reach over and pull it. I may block the camera when I do that. But I'm just going to do this little test strip to see how it works. Worked pretty good, so I'm going to put my desk collection on and uh, just go ahead and run all the strips I made. Okay, folks, uh, Dane here, and uh, I just um, wanted to follow up the kerf videos with some of the kerf uh, kerfing installed in the 335 and just kind of take a quick run around it now um, I didn't get video of the actual installation I will I'll video when I flip it over uh, and do the other side I'll video that um, but uh, just to give you an idea of the yield uh, of the uh, that project what I had three boards with three rips each and they were like 45 inches long and so I'm not even sure I used I know I didn't use two but uh, I don't know if you can tell or not we'll get close here and see if you can tell right around here where's my finger there it is right around here I changed from the wider kerf and I don't know if I made a note or I mentioned that in the video but uh, I went from this wider kerf which is uh, closer to uh, a fat quarter or maybe even five sixteenths and then I went down to a quarter uh, and so I did a, a one of the boards um, that I got three rips out of that quarter it's because I knew I had these areas here that were going to be tighter around here and and uh, in here so anyway that I, I used a little a little closer cuts on those so I am going to put that back through the sander uh, I'm not terribly proud of the uh, rim here but I'm going to put it back through the sander get that flat this is actually the back I'm going to uh, get the the piece of wood I had prepped for the back and I'm going to actually uh, get the pattern traced on that and start carving uh, that I'll have to make some uh, router templates I'm probably going to uh, rather than freehand this carve if I wasn't trying to match something I would just freehand it but since I'm trying to build a 335 I'm going to use the plans and and uh, their uh, 
their lines they put on the plan for the for the profile on the on the carve. Anyway, so I, I think I am going to follow that and go ahead and, and router it in, and then uh, then I'll hand carve from there.